Open my
Praise God. Come on, somebody, lift holy hands and Praise worship Jesus. God. Come on, somebody, ought to make some noise for the Lord. Praise Come God. Come on, somebody, ought to make some noise for Hallelujah. the Lord. Come on, if you know that God has did something Praise for you. Jesus. Come on, just lift up holy hands and worship Praise God. God. I'm out of the bondage. Come in to God's freedom by the blood of Jesus.
Oh yes, when I get there, I will sing and shout. Oh hallelujah, praise the Lord when I get when I when I when I get oh yes when I get there I will sing and shout when I get there hallelujah praise the Lord when I get there oh when I get there Hallelujah. When I get them, oh, I will sing and shout. When I get them, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When I get one more time, say, when I, oh, when I get there, I will sing and shout. When I get there, hallelujah, praise the Lord. When I get there, praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The song says, when I get there, I will sing and shout. When I get there, hallelujah, praise ye the Lord, when I get there, amen. Aren't you anticipating that day, beloved? Amen. Let me see you if you're anticipating that day, just wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Come on, if you're anticipating that day, just wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And so we just want to live, amen, so that when the day comes, we all... Praise God can be in that great number as the song declares when the saints of God go marching in. Amen. Just tell the person beside the neighbor, make sure that I see you there. Amen. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you. Amen. But I am living my life to the best that I can live. Amen. So that on that great day, Amen. I too can have a part in that eternal kingdom. And not just myself, but all my brethren. Amen. And my family. I want us all, amen, to make it into the kingdom of God. I don't know about you, but I don't want to live my life. Amen. All my years of serving God just go down. Amen. In hell. That is too expensive. I can't afford that. Amen. And so that's why the old song says, Amen. The reason why I'm living this life, I don't want to be lost. I don't want to be lost when Jesus comes. Can you imagine, even though it's something that is very hard to imagine, beloved, Amen, coming to church every single Sabbath, every Wednesday night, every Monday, every Wednesday, every time the doors are open, we're present giving service to the Almighty God. And when the day comes, we will hear the part. My God, I can't even imagine. Amen. Just tell the person beside the neighbor, live good. Amen. That's all we can do. Just live. Amen. According to the word of the Almighty God. And can I tell you that the Lord himself know, amen, where we will fall short. But if we trust him, walk in obedience to his will and his words i promise you he will help us through his divine holy spirit praise the name of the lord that's why paul says it's not the high that live but the christ that lives in us praise the name of the lord and so let us humble ourselves as children of god and allow christ through his holy spirit to reign through us that's the only way that we can inherit the kingdom of God. The flesh and blood cannot do it. Amen. It takes the spirit of the almighty God. Paul says, Amen. There is therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ. Who walk not after the flesh, but 
after the spirit. So we are to be led by the spirit. Are you hearing me tonight? Praise the Lord. And so let me take this opportunity to honor God who is the head of our life and the head of this church. He is our soon coming king. Amen. Who we long await. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. We honor him tonight. want to honor Minister Mario Christian, his beautiful wife. Amen. Sister Shelley and Melville Christie, Deacon Barrington Knight. Praise God. Amen. All the missionaries in the house tonight, musicians, my brothers and sisters, visiting friends tonight. Praise God. Praise team technical persons, those viewing via Facebook Live. Amen. Evangelist McClockin viewing right now. God bless you, mother. Amen. Evangelist Judith, Judith Spencer Bailey. Evangelist Cecilia Witter. God bless you all tonight. Minister Chevron Ward. Amen. I greet you all tonight in earth most powerful name. The name of Jesus. Amen. Why I can do so tonight, greet you, is simply because he has afforded me this privilege. I am cognizant of the fact that I am not here tonight because I kept myself throughout the day. Amen. It was God who kept me. Is there anybody else in this room tonight who know that it is God who kept you and allow you to be here tonight? Amen. We are not like those who woke ourselves up in the morning. Amen. And get ourselves ready for the day and carry ourselves throughout the day. Amen. We owe it all to the Almighty God, Sister Desreen. At this point, all of us should be able to say, if it had not been for the Lord on our side, praise the name of the Lord, we would be swallowed up by the enemy. But thanks be to God, we are alive and well. He has kept us and we are in his presence where there is fullness of joy. Amen. It's just, we're in a time that Amen. We just keep getting bad news and bad news and nothing else but bad news. Praise God. But when we see these things, the word says we ought to look up for a redemption right now. I don't know about anybody tonight, but I am awaiting the coming of my Lord and Savior. Amen. It was just this evening I learned that a well-known brother, a man, well, he is well-known to most of us, I believe. He passed this morning, Mr. David, the photographer. Yes, I just learned this evening that he passed this morning, amen. He was sick for about two or three weeks, and he just got up this morning crying for his belly. By the time they rushed him to Maypen Hospital, he was pronounced dead. I, a few days ago, reflected on when I was much younger, growing up as a child, and when we hear that somebody die, it's not quite often in the community, because persons live long, and, and, and it's always new when someone dies, it's strange, but my God, every single day, every minute of the day, we're just hearing Amen. That persons are just passing. And I, as I was talking this evening to Sister White, amen, and um, Sister Haynes on the back there, you know, Sister White expressed that it becomes very scary because so many things are happening. Amen. But let us pray one for another because the Spirit of the Lord is designed to bring us the comfort that we so desire. I want to share with us Amen. About in 15 minutes from one verse in Psalm number 25. And that's verse number 14. And I believe it is very relevant for the time. Amen. Psalm number 25. We're looking at verse number 14. When you find it, say, I'm there. You're there. Right. So I realize. Psalm 25 and verse 14. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his 
covenant. I want to read this verse. I, I, I like it from what we call the Message Bible. Amen. I want to read this very verse from the Message Bible tonight. Amen. I don't know how many of you have that version of Bible on your phone. But I want to share tonight also from the Message Bible. Verse 14 says, God friendship is for God's worshippers. They are the ones he confide in. Can I read that again? It says, God friendship is for God worshippers. They are the ones he confide in. Don't you like that version? Yes, it's, it's very, very, very clear. Amen. So let me go back to the King James. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant, the message. God friendship is for God worshippers. They are the ones he confide in. This is the word of the Almighty God tonight. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Let us pray. Father, we come before you even now. As we gather in your house of worship. Lord, the place where you meet your people. We declare that this atmosphere will become conducive to your presence and to miracles, signs and wonders. We ask you, divine God, even now that you will saturate this atmosphere and cause your words, God, to go with power and with clarity. I pray even now that those who are here for a word tonight will benefit greatly from this word. Lord, as we're in a time when we need to be drawn closer to you, we need to be closer to you, Lord, where we can hear more from you. The song declare, we need to hear from you. We need a word from you. Lord, if we don't hear from you, tell me what will we do. Father, speak in this room tonight. Your children are awaiting your words of your way tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Ask the person beside you, real quick, neighbor, are you God's friend? So, I want to reason for about 15 minutes on the subject that comes to us in question form Are you God's friend? It's a very personal question. Very personal question. But I believe it was the secular artist Bob Marley that declares only your friend know your secret. And only he can reveal it. I am not going to speak about who the cap fit because that's not what I'm talking about tonight. <laughs> All right. Praise the Lord. Amen. God's revelation to man must be in harmony with his character. You know, this, this, this um, line that I just read speaks profoundly to our faith in God. And what the word of God says as it relates to who God really is. The revelation or God's revelation to man must be in harmony with his character. With God, there can be no contradiction. I, I, I want us to pay attention a little bit because we serve a God that cannot lie. His words cannot lie. Whatever his word says about him, that what it is. 
So with God there can be no contradiction. If his word says that he is a good God, he is a good God. If his word says he is a merciful God, then he is a merciful God. What he does shows what he is. Can I repeat that? What he does shows what he is. His words and his works agrees. His word and his works agrees. In other words, so whatever his word says comes in alignment with his works. Whatever is said about him comes in alignment with his actions. Are you following me tonight? So what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean to be a good God? It simply means to be a good God. What does it mean to be a dreadful God? It simply means to be a good God who can be a dreadful God. So that doesn't contradict who he is, does it? No. His words and his works agree. His name speaks to his personality and his character. His word speaks about his character. Jehovah Makadish, the Lord who sanctifies and makes holy. Jehovah Jireh, Lord the provider. Jehovah Elohim, Lord God. Jehovah Sabaoth, Sabba, the Lord of hosts. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord our banner. Jehovah Elohim, God, mighty, strong, prominent. Adonai speaks of his lordship. Jehovah Shalom, the Lord our peace. Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Jehovah Gibor speaks to almighty he is. So his word speaks to his character. Now if we were created in the image of God, then we reasonably infer, or we can simply say, that when God makes a special revelation to us, it will be in accord with our moral nature, which concerned with are relating to human behavior. Distinction between good and bad or right and wrong behavior. This is what gives the gospel its preciousness and its power. God in Christ. Come with me tonight. Now, the gospel was very effective and powerful simply because God was in Christ. Come with me. Christ on earth was fully God. But he was also fully man. Where are the Bible readers? He was fully God. But he was also fully man. So because he was also fully God. He did not bring reproach to the gospel. Because he was also fully divine so though he walked in the flesh he did not bring any reproach to the gospel because he was not living by the flesh he lived by the God in him are you hearing me tonight praise God so it was God in Christ please understand that's why Paul declares Christ in us, the hope of glory. In other words, we as human beings cannot live holy enough or righteous enough to match 
are to be um, within the, the, the realm where God wants us to live by ourselves. It takes the Holy Spirit. The natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. According to 1 Corinthians 2 and verse 14, Paul wants us to understand that as human beings without the spirit of God, we cannot discern the things of God. We must discern them through the spirit of God. Tell somebody through the spirit. Therefore, to discern them through the spirit, there must be a relationship between the people of God and the spirit of God. Am I talking right tonight? There got to be a relationship, Brother McLeod, in order for you to access the spirit of God. There must be a relationship between you and God. Uh, that, that God's revelation can only be received in its fullness by obedience. According to verse uh, 10 to 14 of the same ch uh, uh, chapter that we read from tonight, Psalm 25. The question is asked tonight, who is the man that fear the Lord? Because the, the verse says the secret of the Lord is with them that who fear him. So the question to us tonight, who is the man that feareth the Lord? And this is as good as saying, find me such a man and I will tell you how it will fear with him. Praise the name of the Lord. What will happen to such a man? God will reveal himself to him otherwise than he does to the world. So when you have a relationship with God, God will reveal things to you that he will not reveal to anybody else. Are you coming with me? When you have a personal relationship with God, when you communicate with him and he communicates with you, when you seek him and he fill you. When you knock and he open to you. When you call and he answers you. Then he will reveal things to you that he will not reveal to the world. Are you following the body of Christ? Ask the person beside you. Are you the friend of God? That's a personal question. I don't know about you. But I want that kind of friendship. Oh God, that whatever I'm going to do, I can knock on God's door and say, Hey, my friend, good morning. What should I do today? What plans should I make for my day? What do you think I should wear today? My God, what do you think? Oh God Almighty, my attitude should be like today. Who should I spend time? I'm with today my friend what should I have for lunch you see when you have that kind of relationship sister Jasmine people say that you are weird and that you are crazy but can I tell you that there is a place in God that when you get there God will hide every step that you make I wish I could find five believers that's why the psalmist David declared he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadows of the almighty please understand brothers and sisters that when you get in that secret place that simply means that you have a friendship with God you have a relationship with God can I break it down? A stranger from nowhere can't just walk into your house because they don't have that privilege. Unless you invite them in. But a friend will come and knock your door and you say, hey, how are you doing? Come on in. Let us reason together. Mm. 
Ask the person beside you, is God your friend? Ooh. Between them, there is sympathy and sweet accord. God opens his mind to those who love him. And this, this caused me to get goosebumps today, Christy. When it says, God opens his heart. He opens his mind to those who love him. You notice it did not say those whom he love. Because the word says, for God so loved the world. So it is clear that he loves all the people. But the word says he opens his mind to those who so a friend must first show himself friendly. So if you want to get in the mind of God you must show yourself friendly with God. Are you hearing me? But the word says ah uh, the secret of God it was it was is with those who fear him this word fear doesn't mean to be afraid of it means to have reverence for so we are getting somewhere tonight because to be a friend of God ah uh, God Almighty is to be in the company of God and to be in the company of God you've got to possess the spirit of God and if you possess the spirit of God then you must bear the fruit of the spirit you must possess the character of the spirit I heard the word of God say let this mind be in you which was also in where are the Bible readers which was also in Christ Jesus so watch this there is a saying that says you will have to pay dear to be in big company. You know that saying? Did you know that to be the friend of some people you've got to compromise who you are? To be friends with some folk you've got to sell out sometime your own personal identity because uh, to be friends with them uh, you've got to be identified with who they are and their lifestyle uh, their personality their character their circle so you've got to forget about yourself uh, uh, God just to be in their company but I stop by to tell you tonight uh, if you want to know the secret uh, of the spirit uh, you better learn how to fear God uh, uh, God I, I just want to find 15 persons uh, who knows what I'm talking about you know that when you get in their companies there are certain things that they will not tell you anyway because they have bigger friends in higher places in society than you can ever get so what you get as a friend is what everybody locally gets but when you're a friend of God he will show you great and mighty things can I drop a verse on you tonight greater love of no man than this than a man to lay down his life for his friend we serve a God brothers and sisters that the whole church used to sing closer than a brother my Jesus is to me he's my dearest friend he's everything I need he's my rock my shield my hiding place closer than a brother come on tell somebody Jesus is my friend so watch this watch this watch this think I have about eight minutes left so he opened his mind to those who love him I want to bring our minds tonight to a place where we see the relationship with God our friendship with God as something that we must value 
something that must take first um, priority in our lives. Something that must first it must be at the forefront of our mind. In other words, uh, sometimes when we are friends with some folk uh, and we want to do certain things, we wonder how will he feel or will she feel about it? Uh, what will she think? Uh, what, what, will, what will he think about what I'm going to do? Uh, uh, God Almighty. And sometimes you don't even feel like sharing it because uh, you don't want to hurt somebody's feeling. Uh, but can I tell you tonight, body of Christ, uh, that we see of a God uh, that we can tell him anything. Uh, does anybody in this room understand what I'm trying to say? Uh, we serve a God that we can tell him anything uh, and the matter of fact he is all knowing. Uh, before we utter that word uh, he knows what our hearts are saying. Uh, this is the kind of God that we serve. Uh, this is the kind of friend that we have. Uh, Sister Carol Thompson uh, and I believe with all my heart tonight uh, that with a friend like this you don't need nobody else with a friend like this if the world turn against you you can tell the world goodbye world my God can I talk to somebody with a friend like that the Bible says when mother and father forsake you then he will take you up because somebody is a good friend he's a good friend And he promised to open his mind to those who love him. Watch this. I want to I want to share a passage with us tonight. I want to share a passage with us tonight. Oh, I love you, Lord. He lets them into his secret. They are in the way of light. And evermore, as they advance, the light shines on them more fully the word of God or the word of the psalmist is affirmed and completed in the teaching of our Lord according to St. John chapter 15 and verse 7 down to verse 15 come with me St. John 15 7 down to verse 15 it says if ye abide in me and my word abide in you ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Are you here with me somebody? Verse 8 saying that. says, Herein is my father glorified. That he bear much fruit. So shall he be my disciples. As the father hath loved me. So love I you. He says continue he in my love. If he keep my commandment he shall abide in my love even as i have kept my father's commandment and abide in his love verse 11 says these things have i spoken unto you that my might that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full this is my commandment uh, that ye love one another as I loved you. He says, A greater love hath no man than this, uh, that a man lay down his life for his friend. Come on, who do that for a friend? Verse 14 says, Ye are my friend, if ye do whatsoever I command you. Come on, people of God. Are you still God's friend? Because he's now saying that if you do what he says, then you are his friend. That simply means that without obedience, preacher, we can be the friend of God. God. Am I talking right tonight? To be the friend of God is to be the follower of God. Is to keep his commandment and to keep his precepts and statutes. Are you with me, body of Christ? So then, this very incoming play, Christy, that says when we walk with the Lord in the light of his words, what a glory he sheds on our way. When we do his good will, he'll abide with us still and with all who will trust and obey. I submit to the house of God tonight that as much as we declare 
that God is our friend we need to think about it a little bit more because Jesus says by this you know that you are my friends if you keep my commandments is there anybody in this room find yourself in the position that you are claiming to be the friend of God but you are walking contrary to the will of the almighty God I stop by to let somebody know it is high time to arise and align yourself with the word of the almighty God I feel like talking to somebody tonight Jesus said if you are my friend you better walk in my commandment you better keep my Sabbath my God can I preach you better live holy you better live righteous you better love your brothers and sisters can I preach this word if you are the friend of God then your actions and your attitude should depict righteousness is there anybody in this room who knows what I'm talking about I heard Jesus saying in verse 15 henceforth I call you not servant for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth but I call you friends for all things that I have heard of my father I have made it known unto you body of Christ please understand that if you find yourself in a position that you ain't hearing from God you are going through difficulties and you seek God in the morning you seek God in the evening you seek him in the afternoon and you seek him in the midnight hour and you ain't hearing nothing from him it is time to arise and set the friendship set the relationship friendship with Jesus fellowship divine oh what sweet communion Jesus is a friend can I talk to the body of Christ for two more minutes the songs are down on my knees when sorrow arises I talk to Jesus down on my knees I promise him that I will serve him now when you're down on your knees in your troubled time and you pray from morning to night and you ain't hearing nothing it calls for some serious concern it might simply be minister that God's ears are turned away from us because our sin my God has caused a separation between us and God the word says his hands are not short neither is ears heavy that he cannot reach to us but our iniquities have separated us from the almighty God I stop by to tell us if you want to restore your friendship if you want to redeem the relationship you can only do it by coming down from where you are and say all to Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give I will have a love and trust him in his presence daily live when we offend our friends and we know we offend them we tell them sorry we may not talk to them face to face but sometime we send them a text I know I've offended you but I'm sorry is there anybody in this room you know from time to time you have offended God and caused God to stop speaking to you I stop by to tell you take up your phone in the Holy Ghost send him a text say Lord I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you I'm sorry for the life I've been living is there anybody know what I'm talking about say Lord I've caused the unsaved 
to talk negative about you as my friend but Lord please forgive me let us move on is there anybody knows what I'm talking about you're in this room and you know God is not talking to you as he normally would normally when you rise he will give you a verse when you rise he will give you a song when you rise he will give you a thought but since recent when you get up no verse no song no thought I stop by to let you know this call for some serious concern put down the phone put down whatsapp put down facebook put down twitter put down everything that takes up your time can i tell you about this friend the bible said this friend is a jealous friend and his glory will he not share with another come on church it's high time to arise give your friend the attention that he deserves give your friend the time of the day that he deserves god want to walk with you god want to talk to you he wants to tell you i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other god is saying come unto me holy that are labored and are heavy laden and i will give you rest he said take my yoke learn of me my yoke is easy my burden is light tell somebody tell somebody neighbor of a friend is crying out come back come back talk to me in the morning talk to me in the afternoon talk to me in the midnight let us have a little talk with jesus tell him all about our struggles he will hear our faithless cry he will answer do me a favor lift your hands and say lord everything i have done out of your will to offend you i'm sorry ah, i'm sorry Say, Lord, I'm sorry. Some of us used to get good visions, but we're not getting no good vision no more because we have drifted from the friendship. His friendship comes with benefits. He says, The secret of the Lord is with them that fear Him, that reverence Him that love him that live for him that serve him yes but i like the last part i like the last part give me 14 back give me 14 back of psalm 25. Ooh, say I. hallelujah hallelujah the secret of the lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenant God will confide you remember the days when things just happen in church and when you walk in God bear your witness because you see things before it happen 
God make you aware. Sit down in church. This is going to happen. And just as he said he would, he caused it to happen. But these days you're wondering, Lord, every single thing seems to be taken by surprise these days. It's not that God's hand is short. It's not that his ears is heavy. It is our iniquity that separates us from God. And he's saying to us tonight that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. Now if you fear him, he will show you his secret. If you reverence him, he will reveal to you things that he revealed to nobody else. But if you refuse to, re to, to, to reverence him and to respect and to love him, then he will keep you in the dark. And if the prophets don't speak, you don't hear. And that's, that, that becomes a problem. Because sometimes the prophets that comes brings words that are contrary to the word of God. And we fall for it. Why? Because we're not hearing from God. Because there is a wedge between us. That's why Saul, Sister Desiree, when he couldn't hear from God, he went to the witch of Endor. And he says, bring up somebody from the dead for me. The witch didn't want to do it because she knew the danger. And she was relentless. In other words, she was very hesitant. And when she obeyed and brought up the spirit, when she looked, she saw the spirit of Samuel. And she knew that this was a man of God, not a man to play with. I use that analogy to show to us that when our friends stop speaking to us, we turn to other sources. But the devil is a liar tonight. We have the opportunity to restore our friendship with God. We have the opportunity tonight to restore the fellowship with God. Friendship with Jesus. Fellowship divine. Oh, what sweet communion. Jesus is a friend of mine. Sister Mason, we want to get back to the place where we can say, God, whatever you are doing in this season, please don't you do it without me. So as I close tonight, as I close tonight, I just want to show you one example. Deacon Knight of a friendship that is in good standing. Genesis chapter 18. Sit down for two minutes. We're going to pray. Genesis chapter 18, Sir Christie. From verse, maybe one, come down. As a matter of fact, it's from verse 17, come down. The angel of the Lord appeared to Abraham and Sarah, spoke to them concerning their lives and the promise and the plans that God had for them. And that he in his old age will impregnate his wife and she will carry a promised child. She laughed. The Spirit of God somewhat rebuked her. But when, this, when the promise was given, it was confirmed because it came from the mouth of God. God and his angels were about to move from Abraham's house. But then God said to one of the angels, How can I move without making what I'm about to do to my friend? So give me verse 17 of chapter 18. And the Lord said, Shall I hide from Abraham that thing which I do? Abraham was his friend. And this which God was about to do was a top secret. The cry of Sodom and Gomorrah came up to him. And he was about to destroy them, Sister Carol. But he shared his mission with his friend Abraham. Now Abraham being a friend, a good friend, pleaded for Sodom and Gomorrah. Started from 50. If you find, will you destroy the community if you find 50? And he bargained, he negotiated with God until he get down to five. 
And the enemy couldn't do that. A friend that is not so close, Christy, couldn't do that. It takes a friend that was very, very, very close to God to bargain to that place where it get to five. Now I use that example because there are benefits when our friendship with God is intact. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory. By who? Christ Jesus. Friendship again. Friendship again. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. And the tongue that rise against me shall be, shall, I shall condemn. Friendship again. Because you by yourself cannot do it. It takes the Christ in you. Benefits. Ask the person beside the neighbor, is God your friend? Ask me, Bishop Malcolm, is God your friend? He was. But I want him back as that friend that I used to have him. In other words, he is still a good friend, but I am not too much of a good friend to him. Oh, Shia. So when I reminisce on the days when we used to have fun in meditating on his words, praying and communing and, 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 and just having a one-on-one -on -one with him. That time of intimacy where he revealed things to me that I did not know. He revealed things to you about you that you did not know that you had in you. Only a close friend could do that. Can I ask you a question? Don't you miss those days? If we should be honest tonight, we would speak the truth in this house. That we need to get back to the place where we become God's good friend again. Let me use one more analogy then we pray. Have you ever been in the position, Sir Christie? Where you have a good friend. And all of a sudden the good friend just dry up with you. And to you, you are being a good friend because you are doing all the things that you normally would do. And all of a sudden the friend just pull away from you. And you're wondering, what did I do with that good friend? But can I tell you, sometimes we might offend people indirectly. We don't even know that we said something that offend. And instead of saying X, Y, Z, they pull away. And even speak negative about you to other people. Watch this. Sometimes we find it that we are calling to God and God is not answering. We knock and he's not opening. We seek him and what we are seeking him for, we're not finding it. So at some point in our relationship with him, we had offended him. And we don't even see it necessary to say, Lord, I have wandered far away from you. I don't know about you, you know, but this word, when I read last night, I made a sound that I couldn't understand where that sound was coming from when I read Sir Christian, I reflected. And my wife said to me, what, 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 what was that? Because she woke from her sleep. It's like I was somewhat groaning and I said, come on, it's, it's just, there's a sermon I'm working on. But when I reflected on the relationship and where it has been, where it is now, I said, my God. When I read last night that he opened his mind to those who love him. 
and there are days I would love to know what is it that God is up to today. Wouldn't you love to know that? I want to know what it is that you are up to today so that I can align myself with purpose. But something went wrong. Something went wrong. But I'm willing to fix it tonight. Hallelujah. My stubborn will. At last I heal them. I will be thine. And thine alone. And this the pearl. My lips are bringing, Lord, let in me thy will be done. Stand with me, beloved. Sweet will. Still fall me closer. Till I am wholly lost in thee, sweet will of God, still fall me closer till I am whole lost in come sister carol we're gonna have a united prayer before we do so i want you to intercede tonight on behalf of the body of christ still fall me closer Till I am host in thee, sweet will of God. Come on, body of Christ, still fall me closer till I am whole. Lilas in the Hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, 
remember us in your mercy tonight, God. And not in your wrath. Not according as we may deserve. But remember us, Lord, in your mercy. Oh God, tonight, Lord, we surrender all to you, Jesus. Mighty God, we are nothing without that relationship. Bring us back to the old landmark, mighty God, to the place where we first received you. Help us, mighty God, to be submissive tonight to your word and be obedient, mighty God, and acknowledge all your commandments. Lord, we, it is not us that live, but the Christ that liveth in us, God. And it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Reveal yourself to us again, Jesus. Help us to be reunited with you, God. We know and we acknowledge that your coming is near. Mighty God, you have taken our sins to Calvary. But mighty God, we are way off base as a people. Bring us back unto yourself, mighty God. Bring us back, mighty God, as a people. Help us to go back to Bethel. Hallelujah. Mighty God of Daniel. Mighty God, you are the rock of ages. Mighty God, you are a very present help in time of trouble. Mighty God, when David sinned and realized, mighty God, that he has lost it. So tonight, mighty God, we come as your word said, oh God, take upon you our yoke, your yoke. For your yoke is easy and your burden is light. Mighty God, at times we are swayed in the balance and found wanting. But tonight, Lord, we come acknowledging that we need you. We need, mighty God, to be a light that is set upon a hill like a candlestick that cannot be given. We are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lose its summer, it shall be good enough to trot on the floor of men. Tonight, Lord God, we are sorry. We repented of our gone astray. Some right and clear, crimson in my sin seems to me. And water cannot wash them away. And we acknowledge tonight that there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel vein, and all our sins and guilty sins are washed away tonight. We believe that grace and grace is enough to cleanse us and to bring us back as a people. Oh God, as we repent tonight, we thank you for hearing and answer prayer. Oh God, strengthen us Oh, God, give us the peace that passes all understanding. Help us to trim our lamps, ready, waiting for your coming. To be like the five wise virgins and not like the five foolish ones. Help us, Lord, that at that last and final day, we will not hear the part from me. I know you not. Because, mighty God, as we can see the signs of the time, telling for themselves. And at any time, no mighty God, you can put in our, your appearance. Help us to watch and pray. Help us to be vigilant. Help us to be swift. Hallelujah. Glory. Anoint our head with fresh oil tonight, God. Oh, God Almighty. We look to you tonight. Remember us in your mercy, God. Mighty God, what is going on in our country and all around. But mighty God, your word is clear that when we see these things look up, our redemption joy now. Friendship with Jesus. Fellowship divine. Oh, what blessed sweet communion. Jesus is a friend of God. We thank you for forgiveness of sins tonight. We thank 
thank you for hearing our cry. We thank you, Lord, because there was mercy, and there is still mercy. Help us, Lord, because it is time is fast approaching. When he that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Help us, Lord, to be at that place. As we thank you for your grace that poured on and cleansed within tonight. Remember our children. Our children's life is at stake. Mighty God, a young people's life is at stake. Mighty God, the devil is rampant. But greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. We thank you for the God who you are. We thank you, Lord, for such love has no man than this, than a man to lay down his life for his friends. We appreciate you, God. And we love you as we reunite our friendship with you tonight. We thank you, Lord, and we adore you. We tell you thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. O oh, excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. We worship you. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Carol. Amen. Thank you for seeking God on our behalf. I'm going to ask that we go right now into united prayer. Everybody in this room, let us pray. Everybody. Hallelujah. For those at home watching by a Facebook live, wherever you are, spare time.
to them a chariot of blessing. Grant us your divine peace tonight. In the name of Jesus, the peace that passes our understanding, let it reign in our mortal bodies. Lord God, remember your children viewing online tonight. Whatever circumstances they are faced with, I pray you bring deliverance tonight. Breakthrough, miracles, signs, and wonders in the name of Jesus. Help them too, Lord, though we are not in the same geographical space, to feel the fire that is burning within our hearts tonight because of your very presence. Do it for us tonight, Holy Spirit. And I pray, God, that whatever need we have online and in-house, we pray, God, that you will supply those needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Help us, Lord, to seek you, knowing that your word said if we seek you, we'll find you. Dismiss us tonight as we go. Bring us home safely. Travel with us. Journey with us. And let us understand more about you. More about Jesus, what I know. More of his love. And so, Father, help us to understand more about your will for our lives. And help us to walk within your will for us. Bless us now. We look to you and we say thanks. In Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. It's risen upon us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lead us, Lord. Mighty God. Direct our path. All us friends. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Fatherless. No, hallelujah. Name of Jesus. Clear for us. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit of God. Yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Children's bread. Koshianda bakata, Lushinda ba. Yes, Holy Spirit, mighty God. Liko taba huse, manda ba ya kata husanda. Yes, oba nde kesi yanda basa. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Healing Jesus. Rules for all iniquity upon you. Stripes were healed. Yes, Lord. Yes. Name of Jesus. Coming in. Have it to be. Hallelujah. Stand with me, everybody. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I'm sending you home. I want to pronounce a very special blessing over your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Before I pronounce the benediction, let's lift your hands and shout, thank you, Jesus. Come on, let us give the Lord thanks for his words. Come on, somebody, lift your voice and give the Lord thanks. As a matter of fact, take 30 seconds and just say something to him. Come on, everybody, take 30 seconds, say something to him. Yes, Lord, you're worthy, you're omnipotent, you're omnipresent. Lord, you're God all by yourself, you're the ruler. The maker, the omnipotent one. God, we love you. We honor you. We crown you. King of kings. Lord of lords. Conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. Father, we honor you. We shabak you tonight. We praise you. We lift you. We exalt you tonight. For you are God. You are God. You are God. And we worship you tonight. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee. The Lord God lift up his countenance upon thee and grant you his peace. 
in Jesus name let the people of God shout in Jesus name let the people of God shout in Jesus name thank you Lord God bless you beloved have yourselves a wonderful night and have yourselves a wonderful rest of week Shalom